Welcome back to another edition. Eat my shorts right here at the Rant and Share, smoking me a lucky strike, and got a wonderful story to tell you. Uh, for starters, if you have sensitive ears, small children, or uh, are easily grossed out by pornographic content, you should probably turn the video off now. And I'll give you three seconds. So, for the rest of you that stick around, uh, I had a bad day yesterday. I hurt, and... Uh, you know, as I'm laying in my chair and doing my nighttime activities, you know, otherwise known as sleepwalking with activities, um, I was watching a movie. And, and I watched a bunch of 90s movies yesterday, and uh, it was pretty epic. And I finished out my night watching the original Speed. Of course, I was cussing at the screen, like, you cocksuckers, you built the bomb timer wrong. You know, of course, <laughs> leave it to me, right? This is the kind of person you're dealing with here, this kind of animal. Uh... Then out of nowhere, some random person from Shanghai, that's where they alleged they were from, right? And they said they were living in Boston. I said, oh, yeah, you know my homeboy, the Frenchman up there? He's like, what? Uh, well, I say he, I don't know who it was. And I'll get back to that here in a minute. And, and uh, me and the scammer got to talking, right? They wanted my credit card number and me to join Telegram. Just like, no, I ain't going to do it. Like, what, why? But I want to talk to you. I want to, you know, get to know you better. I was like, you want to get to know me better? Yeah. So I sent a picture of my Johnson. <sighs> Private Johnson, uh, to be specific. Uh, and I got a good enough picture of it. She could see the teeth marks on it. And the braces scar from uh, when I got caught in high school. And I got my pecker ring caught in Brianne's braces. And had to get a pair of pliers to get the you know, the tongue barbell out of my, uh, my manhood. Uh, but I did get my pecker back. <sighs> you know, I've still been afraid of braces ever since. Uh, now I'm pretty adventurous in the bedroom. Um, you know, for the most part. I'm not quite vanilla. Uh, I'm not really chocolate either. But I'll dig in some, uh, strawberry-flavored white cake, if you catch my drift. <laughs> so, as the, uh, night progressed and scammer wouldn't quit bugging me. I said, you really want me to give you my credit card number? Like, yeah, yeah, I want your credit card number so I can blah, blah, and blah, blah. I said, sweetheart, take off your panties, bend over something, and show me your butthole. And I'm like, what? It's like, you heard me. Put two fingers in there, and uh, think about my Johnson, and uh, show me what you're made of. Because you, you claim you're a virgin, and you're trapped in the United States, and you want my credit card number. What are you going to do for me? And you know, I never heard back from that scammer. Now I'll admit to you fine people of the internet, I'm, I'm a bit strange and unconventional in the way I handle problems in life. But I think I found the ultimate way to deal with scammers. Just tell them to show them your butthole. And hey, if they do, you might make friends. Who knows? Right? I mean, I was going to send her my butthole, right? You know, that, that might be the official greeting of the Eat My Shorts channel, right? That's how we all meet up together. We just show each other our buttholes. Hmm? That way we know. But I don't know. The strange goings on at nighttime, you know, I'll admit, sometimes get out of sorts. <sighs> but before China ever scams me again, they're going to be talking to each other in Mandarin and very confused about it. Mr. Eat My Shorts guy, uh, and his curious scars on his pecker, followed by a, a conversation about showing the butthole. Because, I mean, let's face it, right? You know, we all like Chinese food. I mean, maybe Chinese butthole tastes like shrimp fried rice. I don't know. I had that conversation with them, too, after they stopped responding to me. And uh, I'm pretty sure I sexually traumatized the internet last night. But let that be a lesson to all of you. If you encounter an inebriated Joe in the woods or online somewhere, just be prepared to hear things that are going to upset you or possibly turn you on if you're a freaky motherfucker like me. But as always, uh, this has been another edition of My Shorts right here at the Rant and Share, sponsored by Lucky Strike. Shout out to Lucky Strike. Also, the black neighbor who uh, continuously bummed cigarettes from me actually brought me a damn pack last night. Uh, and, and then I apologize for almost shooting her again, because, you know, you knock on my door after darkness especially. 
you better be ready. I've survived three murder attempts. I'm ready for number four. But as I uh, do laundry and dishes and trash and things and <coughs> contemplate having a steak for breakfast, because why the fuck not? Uh, I'll leave you with parting words of my father, which is, Jesus, boy, what did you get into last night? And the answer sometimes is, I can't remember. But I do remember what I did last night. Oh, yeah, also, uh, apparently said Chinese scammer was uh, quite confused at the fact I have a woman in Texas that I said I was going to um, brutalize and impregnate in the worst possible fashion. And uh, we seem quite quite um, scared about such things. So, like I said, the internet at night times full of perverts and inebriates. So, you know, like, do your best to uh, circumnavigate the perils of online activities. Because somebody may be sleepwalking with activities after they've indulged a bit. And as always, I'll leave you with the... Uh, Immortal words of crime pays, but botany doesn't. Which is, have a wonderful day, go fuck yourself, bye. And if you don't like it, eat my shorts. <laughs>